Hello, everybody. Okay, I have been sent a request to do a read on, I'm just trying to get my chair situated here, on Maya Millet. Um, the only information I have on this is that she went missing the beginning of January. Um, she was last seen when she left home to go for a walk. And I believe it's Chula Vista, California. That's all I know about this case. Um, I will go um, onto Google once I do the read and see if I can find out any other information regarding uh, Maya. And if I can find anything, then I will put that in the, des the description below. I'm just going to give the cards a good shuffle. It's been a little bit since I've used these cards, you guys. So I'm going to ask if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do go live and when I do up readings like this on new cases. Also, I'm going to ask if um, there is any social media that is covering Missing May and Millette. I ask that you share it there. Also, share it out everywhere on your so social media so the word of the read can get out and people can take a look at it and see if they can find anything in here um, that will maybe help find out what happened with her and where she could possibly be. Like I said, I'm just giving these a good shuffle, you guys, because I haven't used them in a while. Okay, so I'm going to ask my ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, please connect with Maya Millette's guardian angels, spirit guides, and we ask that Maya can give us information as to what happened to her, where we can find her. As you know, any cards that pop out of the deck are put in, are read at the end of the read. And I believe that those are direct messages from Maya that she doesn't think is going to come out in the read itself. Ask Maya, please connect with my ancestors to give us the situation. Oh, there's another one that popped out. What happened to you? If you can tell us where maybe we can find you. I believe she went missing um, the beginning of January of this year. I think it's this year anyway. I haven't. That was me, you guys, or I would have kept that out. Okay, so we're asking for uh, the ancestors for the situation regarding Maya Millet. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, this is the situation. This is the main part of the situation. This is what we got to look into deeper. And this is in the secret position. Okay, so right away, I get a grave. Okay, when I get the grave, it, talk, it, it can mean a physical grave. It can also mean buried, covered up. Okay, but we're going to go in for clarific clarification, sorry, on all of this. And this will make sense to you. It may not make sense to me. All I'm going to do is tell you what the cards are telling me, the the intuitive that I also get as I'm doing my read. This is my ancestor deck, so I'm very connected to it. And um, that's going to be that because I don't know anything about this case. So although it may not make sense to me, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting from the cards and hopefully it makes sense to you. And hopefully it makes sense to me once... Um, I go in on to Google and see if I can find anything. It's very hard to find um, things in the U.S. 
from Canada. It's usually the Canadian things that pop up and I, I have to really dig. So, <clears throat> okay. So what we got to look into deeper, there's something about some sadness and crying going on. And in the secret position, there is something about a female. Okay. And like I said, we're going to go for clarification also on all these cards. So now we're going to go in for the messages. That's my ancestors. Please connect with Maya Millet and her spirit guides, her guardian angels, to give us the messages as to what happened to her. Where is she? What surrounded her going missing? Anything that you can give us. who has seen my reads in the past know how this works but for those of you who don't I will explain this this is the main part of the situation this is the head this connects everywhere it connects to the main part of the situation it connects to what we've got to look into deeper and it also connects to what is in the secret position okay so this part here is going to tell us what happened and why this is going to be what we've got to look into deeper. And this here is in the secret position. All this here helps to give us more information on the main part of the situation. This is the situation and this is the main part. Okay. So this here and this across the bottom tells us exactly what happened, why, and hopefully, you know, maybe where we can find her. And it also tells us what's being hidden, what's secret right now it's either not known yet or it's being hidden and what we need to look into deeper to find her and figure out what happened so right away i got employment so it has something to do with either somebody's employment um, maybe somebody um she contacted that she used to be employed with something about employment we're going to get into this deeper okay but it tells me it's something regarding something from the past. So something that happened prior to her death. Also talks about somebody's character and I've got the grave. Okay. So this could mean something covered up too. Okay. We'll get into it. We'll see what clarifying cards we get and confirmation cards we get on it to figure out why this is here, but this is generally not a good card. So what we got to look into deeper again, something about her employment. It connects this way too. Something about assets. Okay. I'm sad and crying. So what does this mean? We don't know yet. We're going to have to look into it. Over here, we've got somebody wearing a mask. Okay. So don't forget this is now in the secret position. It's also connected to either somebody's employment or her employment in the past. Somebody's hiding behind a mask. So when I get this card, it generally tells me that somebody knows exactly what happened to her and they're trying to keep it covered up. They're lying about it, hiding behind a mask, saying one thing, doing another type thing. Okay. I also got the rain. The rain tells me about something popping up. Change of plans. With this person. This person's a female. It has to do with some kind of females. There's a female involved somehow. <clears throat> so we are going to go in for clarification and we are going to put this all together. And I'll see ancestors now for clarification into the situation, which is these three bottom cards regarding Maya Malat. Let's see ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding Maya Malat. Okay. The 
female is her. This female is Maya. Okay. So, with the clarification on the grave, I've got something that is telling me that she wasn't complying with something or someone. And I believe that, I believe that she's been killed. We're going to get into this, but right now what I'm getting from the situation here is that she has been killed. And she was killed because she wasn't complying with something. <clears throat> so either someone or something. Mm, we're going to get deeper into this. We've got to get more information. Okay. So what we got to look into deeper. This is the situation. Don't forget we are reading it this way right now. But this is still the position we got to look into, into deeper. I see something around some kind of celebration that turned bad. I believe this female is Maya. Maya. And there was some violence that happened with her. I believe it. There's something that happened at this some kind of celebration. Now, the celebration could be a birthday party. It could be celebrating an anniversary, a birthday. There's some kind of celebration that didn't go the way that it should. She ended up sad and crying over it. So something happened during this celebration that has to do with assets and employment. So I don't know if maybe... She stopped working for some reason, or she'd lost her job, or somebody lost a job. Because I see something with employment, or this is somebody from her employment, or has to do with somebody's employment. <clears throat> but there was some kind of celebration that was supposed to be, you know, celebrated, and she ended up sad and crying. There was something about she wasn't complying with something, and it led to this. So we are going to, and I got the violence. So there's been violence caused to her, some kind of harm. So let's go in for clarification. So we're going to go in for clarification now on the messages regarding Maya Millette. Who did this to you? Why did they do this? <coughs> Excuse me. Please give us some clarification on the messages. Why are the messages that we have up top here? Why are those cards there? What can you tell us? Can you give us some clarification as to why these cards are here? Clarification into the messages regarding the uh, Millette. There's just one card there. Mm. Okay, you guys, this isn't looking good. Okay, so at the head, <clears throat> we're going to go over all of this. It's, it's coming together for me. This is something about her partner. So this had to do with her partner and somehow it was about some kind of employment. But it has to do with her partner. That is up ahead. That connects everything. Okay, so what we got to look in at the, the main part of the situation is right here. Okay, so something about either her employment or his employment that happened in the past. Okay, this is any time before her death. When the sun comes out, it tells me about new beginnings. So somebody wanted a new beginning. And it has to do with something from the past. Something from the past with this partner and her partner's employment. 
Okay? I'm also seeing there's something about his character because he's the perpetrator. So he's done something to her. And I'm going to state right now that this is, in my opinion, only from what I am getting from my cards. My cards are telling me that there's something about his character. Something that came up. There's something about his employment in the past that he wanted a new beginning. Could this be somebody at his employment that he wanted a new beginning with? Because it's showing me that it had something to do with his character. And it's telling me that he's a, he is the perpetrator. There's something about her not complying with this, what he wanted. I think he wanted out of the situation. I think he wanted a new beginning with somebody else. If you want my honest opinion about what I'm seeing in the cards, I am seeing that it is her partner, something to do with his employment. So that could be, I'm getting it somebody from his employment, somebody from his employment in the past. He wanted a new and warm beginning. It's talking about his character. I think he could have been cheating on her, but it's telling me he's, the perpetrator so i think she might have found out about this or he told her about this and how he wanted things to go with this new and warm beginning i think she said there's no way i ain't no i ain't i ain't accepting it like that and i believe it led to her death i believe he had something to do with her murder he wanted a new beginning with somebody else Okay, now, not complying. Here's what we got to look into deeper. Okay, at the head again, we got the partner and something around his employment. Okay, I think he knew that he was going to have to pay her some money with this lead by leaving her, and he was trying to con her into doing things the way he wanted them done. This, I think, he wanted away from her. I think he. He, he wanted to be with this other person. And I believe it happened when he told her this, that it was around a time that there should have been some kind of celebration. But she ended up sad and crying. He chose to do what he did to her, and it was all over money and assets. He felt like he was going to lose too much of his money and too much of his assets. So he chose to do this to her. I believe he's, I believe he's done something or had something done to her and he wanted a new beginning with somebody else. You see this too? This is in the secret. This is what's not come to light yet. Okay. I don't know if people know about this yet, but this partner of hers wanted a new beginning with somebody from the past. Now it could be somebody from his past employment or somebody even from her past employment. But he came out with it. She was made aware of this. When she went missing, she was made aware of this. And I believe he told her, I want out of this. Okay? And I think he'd been lying to her. I think it's been going on for a while. And he broke her trust. Okay? And I think she, she flipped right out. Change of plans. He wanted to reunite with this person from the past. Okay? He broke her trust. The change of plans was he wanted out of this marriage. He wanted to be with this person over here. Okay? And it's telling me that this partner, don't forget, it connects this way. This part, this is her. This is Maya. He caused violence with her. This is him hiding behind the mask. Broke her trust. It's her partner. It connects this way. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see all these. I'm going to pull them down. Okay. But it connects this way. This is the head. The partner. This is what it's all around. The partner and some kind of employment. I believe it's somebody he wanted to warm a new beginning with from the past. It's talking about his character, that he was the perpetrator. She wasn't complying. He wanted a way. He wanted out of this marriage. 
He felt he was going to lose too much money and she wouldn't comply with the way he wanted things to go regarding the assets, money, stuff like that. And he told her, I'm seeing some kind of something that should have been a happy celebration. Okay. And she ended up sad and crying. I think he told her. When she went missing, he told her, I want to broke her trust. And I think it's been going on a while that he was hiding behind this mask, living this double life with with his wife and with with Maya and with this other person. Okay? And this is somebody that he may have had something with in the past. Because I see a reunite. Change of plans. He wanted to reunite with this person. Okay? Which caused the violence towards Maya. Okay, we're going to see what pops out here. See? The light. Truth, no lies. In plain sight. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't happy anymore. He wasn't happy anymore with her. He wanted this, this, we get the sun, the light, and the happy. This is all pointing me to here. Truth, no lies. I think he came out with it. He told her. And she went from happy to sad and crying. Because I think this happened, they were celebrating something. When he came out with this. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Um, with this violence, why did he resort to the violence? I see ancestors to please tell us why, the, why he resorted to violence with Maya. Why did he have to kill her? Because I believe he killed her. Maya, can you tell us? I believe it's over this. The money. Okay. Yeah. He's guilty of the violence towards her. He did it. He did something to her. Okay. What did she not want to comply with? Why is that comply card here? There's another one that popped out. Why why is this comply card here? Complying. Why is it here, Maya? Can you give us some more information on why the comply card is there? Complying card is there. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I asked why the complying card was here. I got help and I got fire. The fire tells me about a, a heated, aggressive argument. She might have been screaming out for help. He didn't want, he didn't want to give up his money. And she, I think she was saying, oh no. I don't know if, she, if they have kids, but I hear her saying, no, I'm, I'm going to need help. And I, the assets, I'm coming after you for the money. So, and if it's not that she has kids, she's, she's going after him for alimony. Okay. And there was a heated, aggressive argument over it. It had to do with the assets. And he's guilty of the violence towards her. He wanted to reunite. This is a change of plans. The rain is a change of plans. He wanted to reunite with this person. And I believe this person could be somebody from his employment or her employment. So there it is, you guys. This is in my opinion only. But this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that it is her partner. He wanted... He wanted a new beginning with somebody from his past. Now this could be a past from his past or, or I believe it's connected somehow to his employment. He's, they're telling me, she's telling me about his character. He's the perpetrator. Okay. Because she wouldn't comply with his demands. He wanted out of the marriage, which to her was fine because after hearing what she heard, 
she she didn't want nothing to do with him anymore. She she fine, but there was a heated argument over help, the assets that she was going to be taking from him. And he chose to do this because she was coming after the money. There was a heated argument over the help that he was going to give her once they separated, divorced, whatever. And she was saying, no way, I'm not, I'm not settling for that. I'm going to get what me and if she has the kid has kids, what the kids deserve. She was coming after the money and there was no way he was going to allow that to happen. Okay. He's guilty of the violence towards her. He did it. Okay. And like I said, something popped up. He decided to tell her when she went missing. After this heated argument, they had been, they, this was supposed to be a celebration of some kind that she should have been happy about, but she wasn't. It turned from happy to sad and crying because I believe he told her about this other woman. So that is my read, you guys. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I may do an updated reading on this to see if maybe we can get where she is, what where he took her, um, to get more information. But I want to give a little bit of time. So please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do do the updated read. I may do a train read on this, depending on what you guys want from what you have seen here. Um, I am going to go into Google and see if I can't find something regarding her. Give me a little bit of time for that. Um, it may take me a little bit of time to get this uploaded because um, I want to try and get as much information as I can. But this is very clear to me exactly what happened. He wanted this new beginning. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to um, get this uploaded, but it may take me a bit of time to get the information that I need regarding this. If there's any to be found there, sometimes I can't find anything and I have to email back the person um, that asked for this read that requested it to get information from them if I can't find it. Okay, so just give me a bit of time for that. Uh, well, actually, you guys will have already seen this by then. But give me time to maybe do the train read on this to see if we can find out where he took her. Okay? Um, and I may do another clarification read on this also. Because I'm getting a lot. I, I'm getting there's still a lot more to be told here. Okay? So I may go into my other decks also. So I can get more information. Okay? So thank you for watching the read, you guys. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. Please hit that like button and share this out where you can. Until the next time, please take care of yourself and please stay safe. Bye-bye for now.